Yeah, go ahead and tell the people out there who you are. All right, cool, cool. My name is Magical Hustle, man. I'm from West Baltimore. Uh, I've traveled all over the world, man. I've been in this music my whole life. My parents are musicians, and uh, they ingrained it in me deep from a real young age. And I've been performing on my own since I was about 13 on the street to uh, South Point in Baltimore. And that's where it all started for me, hustling and making mine, and making my music become a reality for me. No doubt, man, no doubt. And you also got a show coming up if I'm uh, called... Uh, True Life, MTV True Life, Life in the Marijuana Business, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Uh, I did for the last six months. I filmed a show at MTV called My Life in the Marijuana Business. And, uh, yeah, they followed me around uh, while I built a legal marijuana business in Denver, Colorado. No doubt. And, that's uh, what's up, man. So, so you said it started off in Denver, Colorado. And what kind of... Uh, Explain the business to us, man, and what exactly, you know, went on in the business. Okay. Uh, well, I developed a product. It was called the Buddha Bar. And the Buddha Bar was an organic whole foods energy bar that I created, you know, almost like a cliff bar or something, only it was medicated with marijuana. And, uh, you know, I had a license from the federal government that uh, allowed me to create and mass produce these bars and sell them to uh, medical marijuana dispensaries all over the state of Colorado. And uh, currently, uh, my product is being sold in over 100 dispensaries in the state of Colorado. Damn, and, Buddha uh, bar, huh? No doubt. Yo, send yeah, me a sample, yeah. kid. <laughs> <laughs> Buddha bar's a bomb, man. It uh, comes in four flavors. It's uh, the healthiest. Uh, most wholesome edible medical marijuana product on the market, man. Damn, yeah. man. Say it's, it's herb. It's from the earth, huh? So it got to be good for you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man. Hey, man. So uh, now this Buddha bar actually has THC in it, right? Oh yeah, man. The Buddha bar. I tell you what. When I created Buddha bar, my goal was to make the most potent uh, edible marijuana product with the most friendly price for the consumer and to be the healthiest thing and I achieved all those things it's the strongest edible medical marijuana product on the market it's, it's a it's a one bite wonder man people <laughs> you know people need their medicine they they take a bite and that's all they need man damn that's what's because up man that's, that's that's tight right there man you know that's a whole different type of you know thing that anyone's really did and uh you said it's uh it's available you know what which uh which states right now is available just in Colorado or some other states? Uh well right now it's only legal for us to sell the bar in Colorado. Okay. And uh we can uh we're actually thinking about expanding and franchising it out to different medical marijuana states around the country, but uh it's not like we can ship it because uh that's still against federal regulations and the best we can do is kind of go to other states and teach people how to make our Buddha bars and how to go about starting a business in their area. Okay. Know? Now, how yeah. exactly did you hook up with MTV, you know, to do this reality show? Well, I was uh, at a convention and what was it? Uh, it was a big marijuana convention in Denver a couple months ago, uh, almost six months ago. And, and uh, I just ran into this MTV producer, you know, they were there looking for people to do a show about medical marijuana, you know, and me being, you know, my performance artist and, you know, doing this raps and productions and everything, it was like, uh, when I heard, you know, I'm talking to MTV, you know, it's like I began, I instantly started just giving it my all to sell myself to them, so they would give me the show and uh like i didn't i didn't want to lose the chance you know once i started talking to him i was just telling the man this is for me i'm gonna do this show and uh i wrote him a very convincing letter about all my experience with the marijuana industry and everything and uh it's been working out you know to my advantage just sticking with it and uh believing in it and they i developed a friendship with these guys that are filming the show uh punched in the head productions and uh you know they're they're featuring my music on the show and they definitely give me a big shout out on there and let the world know that uh, you know the whole reason I do this marijuana thing is just to 
be able to produce my music, you know, which is my main dream, you know. I mean, I'm happy to be part of the marijuana movement and, and uh, heal as many people as I can that need that medicine, you know. But uh, uh-huh. And I feel blessed to be able to bring that to people. But uh, it's also about my music, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. Now, you said, uh, you know, that's definitely a good look, man, and congratulations on that. Now, being part of this uh, marijuana movement, now, you know, other rappers out there that are part of the marijuana movement, as in like Cypress Hill, Be, you know, Be Real, Snoop Dogg, is he some artist you'd like to work with uh, in the future? Yeah, man, absolutely, man. Uh, I feel uh, blessed to, you know, be moving towards that arena, being in the ranks of these artists who've been fighting for this marijuana thing for, you know, almost their whole careers, you know? And, uh, I feel like it's a really great place to be, man, to be able to fight for something that's truly positive, you know? And uh, and I can say, man, through all the different realms, the different uh, uh, kinds of people that it unites and, you know, the war on drugs and everything that's going on uh, right now around the world, it's like the marijuana truly is a healing entity, man, that could change the planet. It, uh, well, I'm, uh, just happen to be in an area where I'm getting evacuated because of, uh, a fire engine right oh, now. <laughs> man, you, <laughs> hey, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't blazing up in there, yeah, are you, man? How many, man? How many those sh- balls have you had today? <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't said, say again. you ain't said nothing on fire in there blazing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> No nah, man, but uh, yeah man, that's uh, <clears throat> that's definitely a good look, man. You know, and you know, it, you know, marijuana. You know, a lot of people are you know behind you on that. You know, it's not; it's a healing drug. It's never been proven to really you know kill anybody or to really bring harm to someone's body. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely something that is, is better. You know, alcohol kills people. That's proven. It's not proven that marijuana man. kills people. Yeah, bro, it's, uh, honestly, it's the exact opposite now, man. They are proving that marijuana is healing all kinds of things, man. I mean, it's, it's changing people's life, man. It's like, honestly, you know, we all hear, we all know that anything, uh, abused can, you know, hurt you and can exactly. take you down. And, but it's like this marijuana, man, it, it has very little negative side effects and, it can literally help people repair all kinds of negative things that they've done to themselves, man, and uh, from emotional, uh, psychological problems to the worst physical problem. I mean, it's been proven, man, that the, that the molecular structure of the cannabinoid, uh, you know, the active um, molecule in THC, it actually does kill cancer, and it's, uh, man, it can reverse all kinds of uh, ailments, man, physical ailments that Western medicine only make worse for people. No so. doubt, man. You definitely know. You d- definitely been doing your research. That's good, man. Yeah, man. Too bad you just missed Oprah. She just went off of air. What's that? I said too. too I said too bad you missed Oprah. She just went off the air. You said Oprah. <laughs> yeah, he can go on Oprah and talk to us. Yeah. Hey, hey, why not? There's gonna be a lot of other shows though. Give so. o- Give Oprah one of your candy bars. <laughs> Oh, also, if, if the phone cut off the air? No, 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 man, you good? Hey, he's saying he's saying oh, too okay. bad, too bad you couldn't. Uh, Oprah just went off the air. You could have went on her show and gave her one of your candy bars. Yeah, man, I'd love <laughs> for you to try some Buddha bars, man. For sure. I'm. I wanna, you know, go on, check it out, man. Go read about the Buddha bar, man. www.thepleasurecafe.com. You know, it's uh, man, I can't even explain. How blessed I feel to have got in the position that I got into, man, with the Buddha bar and everything. It was, uh, you know, one day it was just this idea, man, to make this product. And, you know, the next thing I know it, man, a couple months later, I'm in Denver and, I'm, you know, I'm the owner and creator of this company with the strongest, like I said, uh, healthiest and most affordable edible medical marijuana product. And, uh, you know, the whole town is loving it, man. They're loving us. And, uh, you know, I get to uh, open up the High Times Cannabis Cup Convention yeah, with Kid Cudi, you know. It was, uh, that was a really great time, man. They got all that on um, on the show. They filmed that. They're going to 
He let me all see that. It was a great show, you know. It was a big private party, man, playing with Kid Cudi, and it was great, man. Damn, that's what's up. I